Hi everyone. Um, thanks for joining. Um, so today we're going to discuss um, the ITGC application breakdown. Um, this run through is going to be a little bit brief um, because um, our other videos has covered, you know, the details that involve are uh, included in, you know, ITGCs. So. Um, I just want to put this out there so that anytime you need a refresher uh, for your minds, um, you can go ahead and you know go to the videos and just look at them. Um, well, obviously, like we know, ITGC, IT General Controls, um, the breakdown on the on ITGC, um, access management, change management, IT operations. Um, so we're going to go into a little detail, but not so deep um, today. Uh, so, we're going to start with our access management. So, for access management, what components are embedded into them, um, into access management? Because remember, these are controls on their own, right? Um, so, the first one that we'll discuss is password settings and appropriateness. Um, is to ensure that the password settings are appropriate, right? You know, for the password, you test the settings and the configurations um, to make sure that, you know, the the password length, uh, alphanumeric, you know, I do time session and all these other details that we've discussed. But this is, like I said, it's just a refresher for you to know what falls under um, um, access control. And the next one that they look at under access control is user access is authorized and appropriate. Um, you always want to make sure that the user access is authorized, right? And is based on the what? The job function. So um, if the user access is not authorized, that means that user is not supposed to have that access. Meaning, meaning that user didn't go to the appropriate, you know, request, you know, approval from the manager, from the application owner, um, all these other breakdowns. So when you see any control that has to do with the user access, the first things that you have to look at is to ensure that the user access is authorized, right, and is appropriate, right? Because if it's not appropriate, that means the job function of that individual is not what it's supposed to be. Like, for example, if I work in the uh, HR department and um, in my access, I found out that I have an access for the DevOps engineering space, right? Meaning that I can go into that tool, whether it's Fire or Alden, which is our DevOps, um, or you deploy, and go in there and write source codes and push your source codes to production. What does that mean? That means my access is not appropriate. That means it's not based on my job function. Because if I'm an HR personnel, I shouldn't be having the access to go into the system, either you deploy or any of these uh, applications, to be able to do anything, 